the very first day of school of this school. Could you describe for us what that first day was like? Allison. Um, I don't even think I remember the first day. <laughs> we had four students. Um, we were supposed to have four others, but the, uh, they were the children of the Indian ambassador, and his plane crashed. So they didn't come. So we started with four. We were in a building that was started and actually was a new building, um, high school. And they gave us four rooms, and we had a generator, and I had to learn how to use the generator because electricity went out all the time. So you're not here. <laughs> but um, I had a colleague, Joe Perry, whose husband was in the British Embassy, and together we, uh, we talked. We did what was necessary to do. Uh, I was not brought in as an administrator. I'm not really. I'm a teacher, so that's what we did. I was here to start the school, really not to administer, just to put it on the... And that's what we did. We, uh, as I say, we had four kids, and um, I taught English <coughs> and math, and I hadn't had algebra since I was 14, so I'm going to read the book. <laughs> but I had the answers in the back of the book, or we never would have gone very far. And Joe taught the little ones. So. And as we moved on, we got more children. And the Swedes had a swimming pool, and the Finns had a swimming pool. And they allowed us to use it. So none of the children could swim. and. As an American, that's the first thing you have to do. You have to learn how to swim when you're four years old. So we taught them how to swim. And um, we were allowed to use the gym in the, in the building. So we would have competitions with the, with the uh, Swedes and the Finns. And that's how we started. 